What is going on you guys? It is your boy Carboholics and we are back with another YouTube video of ours. Today we are at a brand new donut shop for us out in Orange County. We're in Friendly Donuts and Croissants guys and come on guys, you already know your local donut dealer right here on YouTube. So y'all know how we got to get started. I got the regular glazed here for you guys. And I already like how the glaze is crinkling here at the top. Like that is phenomenal, guys. It's nice and puffy. Let's take the first bite and see how this is. <laughs> wow, guys. The glaze is nice and sweet. The donut is nice and airy. It has like a thick dough consistency, but it's nice and soft and it's just melting in my mouth i can't wait to show you that whole order that we got back home see you guys back at home and we're back with more donuts We are finally back home. As you can see, we went out to, what was it? Friendly Donuts out in Orange County, guys. And man, we got some amazing donuts right here in front of us. So let me show you the time. It is 11.57 a.m. and it's June 19th. One of the latest ones we've done so far, guys. And it's really hot and we've been fasting all day. So it's like really getting to us. We really need to get started with these donuts. So without further ado, let's go for the glazed cronut. And this is a tiny cronut, guys, but it looks like it's gonna be crispy. So I hope it is. I just warmed it up. Y'all already know, first donut of the day. Cheers. Cheers. Second donut of the day. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Top three, don't three, uh, Krona. Yeah. Mm. For sure. And I warmed it up really good. Wow, guys, and they have so many different Kronas. You guys gotta try it. Look it up on Instagram before you go. I'm gonna put the description, I mean, their address information and name right down on the description, guys. But yeah, this just made it to a number third corona for us. And guys, it could be top two as well. You know, you never know. You might get a crispier one once you get there the layers and the flakiness of it just held on so properly it's mm. crazy it like wants to turn into that that sludge in the middle but it doesn't it dissolves and breaks apart just in time and you guys saw all those layers i mean it's great it's compact it packs a punch and the glaze is nice and sweet mm. Mm, yeah i'm digging the glaze mm. now we're moving on to a Peanut butter cup, Reese's peanut butter cup donut, chocolate glaze, Reese's peanut butter cup over the top, peanut butter drizzle, and it is filled Dude. with peanut butter, guys. It's sliced down the middle and filled with peanut butter. So Cheers. I'm gonna try to get this chocolate for y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. I could see why they ran out. Wow. Yeah, guys. We were there like around 10 a.m. and they were all sold out of these. But the staff was so friendly that they, and now I know why they call it friendly donuts. They're really friendly in there, guys. They, they decided they were gonna make two more for us. We only had to wait like 10 minutes. So it was perfect. Excellent customer service. Yep. And excellent Reese's peanut butter cup donut. And you mm -hmm. haven't even gotten the peanut butter cup. Mm. 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 
so far. So damn delicious. Mm. So I'm gonna warm up the next batch, guys. And we'll be right back with y'all. And that Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Donut. Damn. That's up there. Rivaling Colorado's Peanut Butter Cup Donut. It might even be better than Colorado's Peanut Butter Cup Donut for me. Wow, it just might so be. Good. But they're both excellent. I'm gonna warm up the next batch and we'll be right back, guys. Wait, that, guys. Wait, guys, before I go. Banana pudding donut. I have to show this beauty to you guys because these didn't even make it because of how hot it is today. So I know once I warm it up, this thing is gonna fall apart. So that's what we're having next. We'll be right back. And we're back, baby. All right, guys, so we're gonna start it off with that banana pudding donut that I just showed you guys. So cheers, which is one of their seasonals. <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, this is like a tres leches cake. Wow. Mmm. Unbelievable. Wow, guys. I'll even go as far to say, just so you guys can know how good of a banana donut was, it was, I'll go as far to say that this one was better than Colorado's one. It was. It's a little different, but it was better. It tasted like V said, like a tres leches cake. Absolutely. Like a tres leches cake with banana slices in it. That's what it tasted like, mm. you know. For my Latino people, for the people that know me, family members, friends, real close friends, real close family friends. If y'all been to any of our happy birthday of our birthday parties, <laughs> happy birthday <laughs> of our birthday parties, and y'all tasted that tres leches cake that we usually get, that's what that tastes like, huh? But of course, the bread is softer because it's not wet, but the top part tastes like that. Mm. <sighs> it's really similar to the one in um. San Diego. Yeah. What yeah. Devil's yeah, Dozen? Devil's Dozen. That Devil's was Dozen was still good though. I, I, it's a little different. Was, yeah, yeah, it was so. All right, we're gonna move it on guys to their guava fritter. And that's right guys. We said guava, not apple fritter, guava fritter. So I'm excited for this one. I hope they gave me the guava fritter guys. It looks like this one still has apple pieces in it. So let's see, cheers. I wouldn't be able to tell, but it's good. What do you think? Maybe it's the apple. Maybe this one was the apple. We were supposed to get a guava and an apple fritter. But. But this one tastes like an apple fritter, guys. But Honestly, like an I excellent not apple fritter. When Carbaholic was choosing his donuts, so he was going all crazy. <laughs> it's a great apple fritter. If it's an apple fritter, we won't know until we taste the second one. But it did hold on to all that oil that I don't like. But in this one, it's weird because you can't feel it as much. You could just see yeah. it. You, you could see it, it all over the edges, you but can't you feel can't it. feel it because the flavor is just so good. Like their their glaze in general is just like the perfect amount of sweetness. And then the apple to cinnamon ratio in this, delicious. We're gonna Next move on batch. to one of their mochi donuts. We're not gonna heat this one up because personally, We've never dealt with mochi donuts. We don't know how they hold up. Last thing we want is to eat one and then tell you guys, ah, oh, they're really chewy from this place, but it's because we're warming them up. So we'll taste one first without warming them up and then we'll warm up the rest, which this is the Fruity Pebbles cereal 
mochi donuts and friendly donuts in orange county guys i think that's what they're known for their mochi donuts so let's taste it let's see what the bus the bus is about the bus cheers <laughs> Well, technically, they do have to be chewy to have a, a chewy texture. Yeah. But it's... It's got like a thick, like chewy consistency. And it's good, guys. I mean, because their toppings are off the point. It was good. It the sauce the properly. It's not like, like super a, chewy. The texture is like a, like a marshmallow. Yeah, kind of like similar to a marshmallow. Just a little thicker, maybe. Mm. Which is pretty good, but not really my thing. I'll stick to yeasted donuts, cronuts, and cake donuts. But we're gonna warm a couple of them up later and see how that goes. For now, we're moving on to our next batch. We'll be back, guys. No, we're back, guys. And we're back, guys. Donuts and pizza's crying already because of the maple bacon. So we're gonna start get started with their ube cake donut, which is an ube cake. And I think oh. it's blueberry glaze with a blueberry on top. So I'm really confused. I think this is a blueberry cake donut. I kept telling the lady, but she said, no, this is our ube cake. So let's see how that goes. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. Number one ube donut for me now. <laughs> they just stopped saying number one. Yeah. Yeah, I need to go oh, taste good. these things. Really soft. Yeah, and you really get like soft. a super sweet like ube kind of like flavor. Yeah, this, this one is a it's little super different. purple, huh? Uh -huh. It's crazy. Mmm, with the blueberry. I am done, guys. I'm completely addicted to donuts now. Like these donut shops, damn, they're knocking them out of the park. That ube donut was so soft, fluffy, pillowy, and that ube flavor just popped with their sweet glazing oh man let's move on to the maple glaze yeasted donut guys wow i should have got two of those and let's see how this one is now we we're gonna have, have this one v said she ordered two i heard one i said so one she's at crying first and then let's I'm see like, cheers oh no and oh like... and guys the donut is actually glazed like we like it Remember, some donuts are not glazed, they're just from the top. So let's see. Mm. Sorry. This one tastes like really smoky. The type of bacon they use. It's pretty good. Maybe I could smoke it. Yeah. It's good, guys. It just wasn't my type of maple bacon donut. Why? No. I don't know. Uh, the maple glaze wasn't what I wanted. The combination of maple and bacon, there was more maple, maple glaze flavoring than there was bacon. You got like a little smoky flavor, like what she said when you bit into it. That smokiness of the bacon hit you, like... Like a little, like yeah, you smoke bacon, like, <gasps> but that was it. That was it. And then it was just all maple glaze. With the other maple bacon donuts that I've been loving, it's the perfect combination. You get sweet and salty all in one as you're chewing through it. It's not just one over the other. But anyways, let's move on to their cereal donut, guys. Captain Crunch cereal on top of a glazed yeasted donut with white frosting. Man, let's see how their cereals are. And this is V's favorite cereal. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, 
coming. <laughs> Eat the donut. Eat your donut. It was alright, guys. The flavor on point. Donut on point. Cereal stale. That's the it's only thing. Pretty stale. But they put the perfect amount. And with that frosting that they added, it just gives you like that super flavor of Captain Crunch together with the with the frosting. If your cereal was crispy, guys, nice and fresh, it would be an outstanding donut. But you know what? There's not too many donut shops out there that actually give it nice and fresh, huh? It's kind of rare when we find one. The only thing about this one is that what I don't really, I mean, the cereal, yeah, the texture of the cereal, but the glazing on the top, the white glazing, like it kind of like, if I would have a whole donut for myself, I think that I would feel like really like sweetened out. Mm. See, not me, guys. I love sweets. Maybe that's why it's hitting the spot for me. So it's just, you know, too, what people like differently. Like for me, it's, it's not as... It's too, too sweet. For me, it's a perfect amount of sweetness. But... That's what one donut, right? Only yeah. one, one out of the batch. So I'm gonna warm up the next batch, guys, and we'll be right back with y'all. We'll be back, guys, and we're back. All right, guys, I forgot the price, sixty-seven seventy-five, which that's actually pretty amazing, guys, because it was like how many? Twenty-eight donuts. So sixty-seven seventy-five for all the batch of donuts, and we are gonna move it on to their blueberry cake, glazed blueberry cake looking so phenomenal and I hope it is as blueberry as they come it doesn't look blue so that's a disappointment <laughs> but it has a lot of blueberries in there cheers But I can see why you're like. Yeah. You're like. I mean. There's a blueberry. Outstanding cake donut. It's perfect, nice, moist, and soft in the inside. It's got that nice crisp layered outside. But you don't get like that super blueberry punch. But it's there. And it's an outstanding cake donut, so that still makes it a great donut. Like, I think I would still kind of order it if I wanted a blueberry cake donut and I went back. So, we're moving on now to the Homer. Homer donut, guys. Dope. Here it is. Strawberry frosting with sprinkles on a yeasted donut. And let's give half to V. Cheers. To your princess. It's a really, really mellow strawberry. Yeah. I didn't quite get the strawberry from them. And I think it's because their glaze is so damn sweet, babe, that you can't really get the strawberry flavoring. But, I mean, what can you say? You can't have 10 out of 10 donuts. Mm. Oh. There's only one place that does that for us. <laughs> but so far, so good, guys. I mean, the strawberry, the Homer donut, for anybody else, that would probably be enough. Us, really we're just looking for a super strawberry punch in that one. So let's move on to their s'mores now. S'mores donut. Chocolate icing, marshmallows torched over the top, graham cracker, cookie crumbles and like chocolate fudge so let's give half to v you want more milk no oh sick the marshmallows are actually like gooey like if they torch them right now cheers oh and the chocolate is melting cheating mm. You could actually taste the marshmallow on this one. 
You like the little burnt stuff, huh? The melted marshmallow. Hi guys, V's only job and she keeps failing at it, so what are you going to do? It's not like we could get another V. <laughs> what do happen after? Oh, I didn't even show you guys this. It's just a blueberry glazed yeasted donut, guys, with a blueberry on top. So cheers. Mmm. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's the type of blueberry flavor I'm looking for. Uh -huh. Just like that. They should have put this one on their cake. Mmm. Move yeah. on to the next batch, baby. Next batch, guys. How many we got left? Three, five, seven, ten. We got 28 donuts, guys. 18 donuts down so far. We're moving on to the next batch. We'll be right back with y'all. All right, guys. We're back. <laughs> and V is feeling full. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the tiger tail. I've been feeling a good tiger tail this whole week, guys. <laughs> So I, I hope this is great. Half and half. Boom. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. It's good glaze. It's not that I really like that one, but I really didn't find the sweetness on it. Oh yeah, I do guys. Their glaze is phenomenal. Plus with a little hint of cinnamon that is in between the tire tail. Mwah. <sighs> Delicious. Alright guys, so the final donut. Cause like I said, V is tremendously full. I'm full, I'm irritated because it's so hot outside. Not even that bad guys, it's like 87 degrees. I feel like all the sun is like on my head. V just overreacts with little things all the time. So <laughs> we're gonna move it on to their chocolate chip filled. <laughs> Yeah, look at this masterpiece, guys. Now, we started. When did we start getting this? From what donut shop? Colorado. Colorado? No, it was another one. Before that, then I got it at Colorado. But they oh, were. Oh, the nuttery. They were really good, guys. I fell in love with them, so. So let's see, cheers. And here it is, guys. It's like filled with like chocolate chips and with like cinnamon roll. Oh, you can't, I can't really pull it apart because it's melting. That cinnamon roll, cinnamon, that's in the cinnamon roll. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. We've been missing out. Amazing, guys. That cinnamon roll flavoring with the chocolate chips and the chocolate icing on this donut melted. It just blends so perfect with a glass of milk. Oh, man. 
I'm seven years old again waking up to a good breakfast. Mm. I'm done. And yeah, guys, that is it. We left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty donuts down. Ten and ten each. Well, V8, like nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but <clears throat> all in all, guys, great donut shop. It's a must must stop if you guys are are on in Orange County or nearby or just visiting. Man, their cronut was pretty good the Reese's donut was out of this world what else was good their apple fritter was good we still don't know if this is the guava fritter so we'll be back for that in the nighttime guys because I need to check that oh and this guys you guys are gonna want to stay tuned for this this behemoth of a donut a triangle donut glazed filled with peanut butter guys and I tasted their peanut butter the Reese's peanut butter donut and it was like it was Skippy's good. honey peanut butter so it blends well with their glaze so we'll be back for that as well you guys are gonna want to you guys are gonna want to stay tuned oh time time Wallace <laughs> V hates it when I yell abrupt, abruptly like that guy <laughs> So we'll see you for a second meal. Peace. Peace. Guys, we are back. And like the box says, a donut a day keeps the doctors away. They have some pretty good custom boxes, according to me. What does the other one say? A donut is the, the, donut is no. the secret to my diet or something. No, a secret to my diet is a donut. It's a donut. Well, anyways, we're going to get started. We're going to move it on to the animal cracker cookie donut. Oh, my God. This is a childhood favorite cookie of mine. Cheers. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Wow. Wow, I like the sweetness. This is the type of strawberry um, icing that they should have used for their homework. Mm. And if they did, I don't know, maybe that um, animal cookie just brought it out a little bit more. And maybe after all those donuts, we didn't feel, feel the um, homework donut as strong as sh it should have been. Maybe, but it's only good. Flavor. I mean, guys, I'm not that hungry. Tell you guys the truth. We were at Trejo's Cantinas. Cantinas. Trejo's Cantina. We had some drinks and we were eating some the nacho chips with the salsa. Mm. Some chips with salsa. But, anyways. It was really good, just for that matter. Now we're moving on to the glazed jelly filled donut, guys. And look at that. The glaze is just like crinkling at the top. It didn't even fall off from the donut or melt off. It just crinkled up. Do you want to have the first bite or do you want me? Let me have the first bite. All right. Bite it until it's halfway. Come on. Keep going. Mm. You're going to mess with me. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, that was good. How was it? Mm. Let's see, guys, how this is. Mmm. Um. Traditional jelly fill, jelly filling, but guys their glazing is so sweet and their donut is so soft that it just makes it really good i love their glazing as of now 
Now we're moving on to their hopefully guava fritter, guys. As you guys know, we ordered a guava fritter and an apple fritter. And let me break it apart here. Earlier, we thought we were gonna have the guava fritter, but it was actually the apple fritter. We so, think. hopefully, this is Let's the guava. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. Huh. I think they gave us the same apple for you guys twice. Mm. I mean, it has a little bit of pink in it. For you. But I taste it the same. There's nothing different as the first one. Yeah, guys. It's still a good ass up for you. There's a crunchy outside layer, softness inside. Doesn't feel that oily. But it still did hold on to a lot of oil. Well, yeah. It doesn't Obviously. feel as oily as other apple fritters that hold on to this much oil, guys. But it did. But although the texture is amazing on it. I don't want one of you guys to go out and buy it and be like, the texture is amazing. It's crispy, soft on the inside. It held on to some oils, but that's okay. And expect the same thing from the other ones that held on to some oil. The other ones held up to some oil, but they didn't have the same taste, the same texture, or the same inside as this one, guys. Mmm. It was perfect for me. Let's warm up the next batch, guys. And we'll be back with the next batch, guys, as soon as it's all uh, warmed up and ready to go. And we're back, guys. With some more fresh milk. We're gonna start with the masa pan. Mochi donut guys Mazapan Which is a Mexican Mazapan. like peanut powdered candy on a mochi donut nice and warm We tried the last mochi no donut At room temp guys and it was a little bit too chewy for us. So we didn't really Care for it. Let's see how it is warmed up, warmed up. So cheers. cheers Let's see Mm. Mm. I do taste like a masa pan. The flavor. But the, the texture. The texture is kind of throwing me off. Like I feel like I'm eating. It's too chewy. I'm eating a, a marshmallow. <laughs> yup. So the last mochi donut, guys. I'm not really digging the mochi donuts, guys, to be saying the truth. Like. I don't know, maybe we went to a spot where the mochi donuts aren't that great, but I, I believe this is what they're known for the most. I mean, the, they're technically chewy, that they're this thick. is what they are, babe. They dissolve, but... The one that we have downstairs is like, it's it's an ice cream mochi. It has and it's ice a little bit chew, chewy like this, And yeah. it is chewy kind of like this. And this one's on thicker top. and chewier. Cheers. Well, yeah, because it's a donut. It's not filled with ice cream. The one with with ice cream that it, they're filled, they actually have a thin mm. layer on them overall. Mmm. Mmm. I tell you guys, this was a strawberry lemonade. Martin. 
Wow, and they say this one's really good. Yeah, great flavor, but I just can't get used to the consistency of it, the texture. Wow, they want to make this as a regular used donut. That I'm would be great. In. Yeah. Wow. That lemon glaze, huh? That's a regular yeast mm. donut. They will hit it out of the park with that, guys. Mochi donuts, it's cool. Don't get us wrong, but Whoever it's just not our texture. thing. Yeah, it's just yeah. not our thing. Chewy, uh, I don't know. But I can more I'd rather area. have it this soft. Yeah. And just get that full flavor. But anyways, guys, look at this. Massive glazed triangle peanut butter filled donut this is huge guys and it's peanut butter filled I mean this is so hot I'll give you a little one cheers, cheers. look Mmm. Wow. They should have made this a peanut butter and a jelly. Mm-hmm. But even like that, it's pretty good. Not that bad. But I'm going to leave this piece here because there's not too much peanut butter on it. And How come I finish it? It should have been a PB and J. I told him. I told him. Just peanut butter is okay, but put some jelly. It's it kind of like um, like freaking actually when you try and swallow it, Bruh. it'll get stuck to the top of your tongue. And I'm gonna warm up the last batch, guys, and we'll be right back with you guys. We'll be right back, guys. And we're back, guys. We're back with let's let's try out that lemon filled. I'll go first. Powder lemon filled donut, guys. I'm gonna go first because V went first with the other one. So. And I'm kind of like iffy, let's anyways, see. about the lemon filled donut. You can even taste the lemon on that shit. I mean the lemon on that. Mmm. Yeah? You liar. Wait, slow it down. I don't know if it's gonna be hot. But the oh. lemon is really good on it. It's really good. And it's really soft. It did lose some powder. Cause we did flip the box over guys on the way over here. That donut fell off and it, it lost some sugar, powder sugar. We <laughs> Why not? It did, that's what happened. Mm. But it's good like that, huh? It's alright. The lemon glaze is really good, guys. It has a lemon glaze feel to it. The donut is nice and soft. But it did lose some powdered sugar when we dropped it on in the car, so that's <sighs> probably why you're not liking. Next is the final donut, guys. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Yeasted Donut. Now, I already know that the cereals on this are going to be stale. And not because I left it for so long before we came back to it, guys. But I actually tasted the cereals right when we got here. And that's why I didn't Which was really... like still an hour and 30 minutes to yeah, get here. So, so let's see how it tastes though. That's a complete donut. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, we knew this was gonna happen. Obviously the Cereal's not fresh. But great it's flavor out. though. Bro, great flavor. Yeah. 
kind of thing. I like this one better than the other one. The cereal donut. Better the than the Captain Crunch. Crunch. Yes. I don't know if they they just use less of the um, icing or they didn't put the icing on this one and they just put the glaze. That was perfect. I just think that on the Captain Crunch, they should have used like a blueberry icing or something like that. Not just that white icing. Why? I like For me, this one was perfect. No, on the Captain Crunch, not on this one. Oh, which one is it? The Captain Crunch, the one we had in oh, the yeah. beginning. Yeah, yeah. The icing was in. Well, I was just. We were just at Trejo's Cantina, guys, so you guys already know why this is happening. <laughs> right? But. Like a blueberry icing on the Captain yeah. Orange one would have been good. Well, anyways, guys, that's it for today. 28 donuts down for the day. I don't know if we're going to come back. The time is... I don't even know if I showed you the beginning time right now, actually, of the video, but... Time is 8.11. We're most likely going to eat something real quick later. Maybe and go to sleep we might come back with the ring light on and show you a third meal but for now we wanted to show you friendly's donuts thank you so much if you guys have made it this far to our video don't forget to like comment share subscribe holla back at your boy and your girl for the next video peace, peace.